Hello, hello. Hey, everybody. This is Sandy. I am working on a me tumbler. This is for me. My favorite tumbler is a Bubba. I'm going to show you here. This is this is Bubba. Um, I got one of these tumblers. In fact, yeah, right here it is. Probably four years ago, and I absolutely love it. And I've made myself other tumblers. That's the one I keep going back to. So I need to have one that's going to reflect what I do. That one has nothing on it. What we're going to do is we're going to do a crackle effect on this, and then, then I'll disclose the decals that are going on here. So first things first, we're going to paint this its base color, and I'm just using a radial chip brush here. And I've mixed up my paints to be somewhat of a sage green. I didn't have, look at the bubbles in there. I didn't have a sage green acrylic paint. And that's not a problem. I am always more than willing to uh, mix and match and do whatever I have to do as far as my paints go. So I mixed together, and this is old paint. When I say old, some of you are going to say, what the heck? Um, it's actually a Delta, what are they? They're called, oh no, this one is, yeah, Ceramic Coat by Delta. You can see how old that label is. Um, the paint's so good. So I used a yellow olive and my other color is doo -doo -doo, Seminole Green. And I mixed those together, and I got my my sage color that I was looking for, and I'm quite happy with it. And, yeah, I probably should have gone with a little bit nicer paintbrush, but I'm putting glue over top of this anyway to do my crackle. I'm not going to worry about it. It covers really well. Um, the only thing I did to prep this tumbler was I used my my metal scrubby from the dollar store and soap and water. And of course I used a little acetone to get off the, um, uh, what do you call them, the stickers. There's some crud that keeps climbing back in there and I'm really not digging it. Even though I don't worry about it, I'm not digging it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this on here. mixed up way more paint than I need. This will go back into one of those bottles because, yep, I can always use sage. I'll clean this brush and when we come back after this is dry, we're going to apply our glue, which is just Elmer's glue. And then we'll apply the white paint after the glue has sat for just a short amount of time. But I probably will hit this with the hair dryer just to kind of speed it up. Not going to have you sit through that. We will return shortly. Okay, the paint is dry. Hopefully, all the way through. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my glue on here. And I'm just going to apply it right to the cup. Using the same brush that I did for the paint. And I'm just going to slather this glue on. And I'm looking for big cracks. I don't want the little tiny ones. I want the big ones. I want the impact. <laughs> so I'm going to put the glue on here thick enough to hopefully give me that effect. I, um, I mixed up my top color. And that was a combination of linen by Folk Art, and I'll show you in just a second, and 
Apple Barrel um, Matte White. I think I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to let that dry. This is the, uh, the Folk Art Linen. Oops, let me make sure you can see it. And that's how dark it is now. I'm not sure if you can tell. And then just the Apple Barrel Matte Acrylic White is all that is. And this is the color that I took it to from this to this. Can you see the difference there? Maybe, maybe not. Stupid shadows. That's what I got. But anyway, this is a little lighter than the straight on linen. So hopefully, hopefully it gives me the effect I'm looking for. If not, well, some things we live to, we live to learn for. We learn to live with. <laughs> oh man. Sometimes I have no idea why I even open my mouth because the things that come out are just weird. Okay, we're going to give that a couple of minutes and then we will be back to put the paint on. This is somewhat dried and it's pretty thick on here. I did go over it again with a wet paintbrush just to kind of even it out a little bit just so I'm not having tons of ridges. But I'm going to go ahead now and paint on my top color. And we'll see how this goes. And in doing this, you want to try to cover in hopefully one swipe, but because of these groups, it's going to require a little more. What you don't want to do is go back over here and hit it again. I hope I mixed up enough paint. I think I did. But I think it's going to be just enough, to be honest. I'm trying not to get too far over into that part there. And it looks like a hot mess. And this is where you have to trust the process and not freak out. Just want to get make sure my top edge is good. And the bottom is well covered. So yeah, it looks like a mess. But if it all goes well, then we should be looking at a crackled piece. I'm going to hit this with a heat gun. I will mute the sound on here, but I want to give you... The opportunity to see how this comes out. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use the heat gun. I'm going to use the the blow dryer. Turning it on.
when we come back, this will have had at least its first coat of epoxy. So don't run away. We'll be back shortly. We have two coats of epoxy on this tumbler. <clears throat> and as you can see, the grooves, although they do show here, there's not a lot of definition. You can still feel it, but there's not a lot of definition there. Um, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, I kind of planned it that way. Let's say I planned it that way. <laughs> I have chosen a couple of spots where I want to put my decal and one is going to go here and the other is going to go on the opposite side. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Oops, I got to figure out where my where my catcher is here. Um, one little bitty tiny piece of glitter got on my cup. Of course it did. Of course it did. I'm going to try to cover that little that little spot up. I want to move this down a little bit so that I'm within my reach as well. So, are you ready? I just changed my channel name today. And let me see, today is Wednesday. And that makes it, what's the date? I think it's the 5th, January 5th. So, I've gone through several different designs, but I think I really like this one. This is going to be a basic idea of what it's going to be. And as I need to, I'm going to fine tune it. So, that being said, this is my new logo and it says Sandy's Shed House which is the name of the channel. So I've got an awful lot of glare on there I don't know if I switch it around can you see it better? Probably and then it'll be upside down but this is the Shed House is to represent an outhouse you put the two together, Shed House. Um, and then my little mascot is a rat. A little bitty tiny rat. Sticking out of the moon. This I made myself. I drew it with uh, watercolor colored pencils. So that I, I did the lettering I took off of uh, Cricut. No big deal. So... Yeah, that's what we're going to be putting on this cup today. So I've got my warm water bath over here. And I am going to spray my, my base water on here today and see if that doesn't help. Oh, and I found, oh, 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 I'm so excited. Let me get this, let me get this in the bath while I tell you about this. I have discovered a product that you can buy right off the shelf. You don't have to order it from anywhere. It's nothing special. But I have discovered a product that is going to... Mm, I don't want to say it's going to be life-changing or anything. I mean, I'm, I'm not that good. But... I have discovered a product that I have here in my household, and I'm going to guess that many of you do as well, that is going to um, make faux finish, not the faux finish, what is it called, the matte finish, much easier on your tumblers. And that's going to be coming. That's going to be coming because I am really excited about that. Okay. Now, the, the um, water slide paper that I used for this was not my Hippo. It was um, another one that I 
have used quite a bit in the past, and I can't remember the name of it now. Let's start sliding here. And we'll see if we notice a difference. Now, I do realize, because this is a clear water slide, that this is going to show through. The background's going to show through because it's not white. And I'm okay with that. And, and I didn't mirror my, my piece, so it's, um, you know, I had to put it on the, the regular way, the regular way. So I'm just trying to make sure that those, those grooves don't interfere with my water slide. I may have to cut the other one down a little bit more because I really am not digging that puckered up end there, but we're going to work it. We're going to work it. And you know what? I think I like the idea of spraying my cup with my, my water spray. I think that worked out just fine for me. Okay. all down here and worked out it's not too shabby um, coffee filter make sure I don't have a whole bunch of glitter on it and I'm just lightly going over my design guys I really like this it's so cute and, you know, that little rat, that little rat represents me. <laughs> if you thought I was sweet, <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> My personality really does, um, it, it gets on its best behavior when I'm on here. But if you knew me in real life, and for those who do know me in real life, not a word. <laughs> but I can be, I can be a little uh, off the cuff. I guess I've said that before, but it's the truth. My husband rolls his eyes, shakes his head, and says, "That's my wife." There. Oh, I love it. Guys, I love this. Oh, I think it's just so cute. What do you think? Is that cute or what? I love it. I am digging it. I really like it. I really like it. I know a lot of people are into the glitters and the glitz and the the whatnot, but I really like the the shabby chic and that's never gonna leave me. It's just something that I really like. And that's what this is this reminds me of is a shabby chic type of deal. So I love it. I hope you do too. Um, and let me know what you think of my new channel name. You know, is it something you can get used to? Hopefully. Um, and those of you who have started to get to know me, do you think that that matches my personality? Let me know. You know, there are no wrong answers. I don't apologize, but there are no wrong answers. 
<laughs> and there we go. So I'm happy with that. I, I had thought about maybe putting some alcohol ink on this, um, the, the Marabou Rainbow. I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to keep it at the simple form that it's at because I really like it. So stay tuned. I'll be back when this is resined all up and nice and pretty. And we'll see the final reveal. So, we'll see you shortly.